All green lights, everything's a go Money on the table, count it real slow Pull up that rosé, twist up that Cali drove When you hustle hard, no matter what is the info what it do, see Sun Duelists? It's your boy Five Jim Blog TV coming straight out of Cincinnati, Ohio. And this is my last breakdown, and this breakdown is an AFC West. Yes, baby, the AFC West. Now, um, of course, I'm gonna talk about the Denver Broncos. The new addition of Wells Welker is just gonna add more weapons for, for Peyton Manning to throw to. This guy, Peyton Manning, you know, he came back and he delivered and he almost got to the Super Bowl, but fell short to the Baltimore Ravens. Um, and once again, you know, Peyton Manning had a hell of a hell of a season off of coming off of his injuries and stuff like that. One of, led the Broncos to 13 wins, I believe, won 11 straight to get into the playoffs, which is unbelievable. He turned receivers that was nobodies into somebody's, and now with the addition of Wells Welker, it is going to help him even more to have an explosive, explosive offense. We all know Peyton Manning pretty much controlled the whole damn offense. He's a he's a coach. He's every damn thing from the audibles to everything that he does. And now you have addition of Wells Welker. Hopefully, Wells Welker will get used to Peyton Manning because we know. He was always used to Tom Brady and get into the floor thing and continue, continue to be a great, great receiver. Um, defensive wise, the defense is going to be there. They still have Champ Bay, they still have Von Miller. They lost Elvis Dumerville, but they still have key pieces on their defense to be great. And I'm looking to see the Broncos doing big, big things, possibly getting to the um, Super Bowl. We just have to wait and see what finds and find out what happens. Now, um, of course, the biggest disappointment is the Chiefs. The Chiefs, eh, you know. Even with they, them bringing in Andy Reid, I don't know if this is going to make too much of a big, big difference. I feel like Andy Reid is on his last leg. He have done everything he could in the NFL, and I just don't feel like the energy is there with Andy Reid. I just don't feel like he's motivated. And even with them bringing in, you know, um, um, Alex Smith, I don't. Alex Smith is a great quarterback, good quarterback, but. I don't know what he's going to be able to do. Now, if the offensive line can't protect him because in the pocket when he has time, he's he's lethal. You know, and you had a running game at Charles Thomas. Hopefully he can get things going and, and be that beast of a running back. Hopefully he won't get hurt. Um they have they have um they have a they have a nice tight end. They have a they have Bo, a receiver who who can produce and get over a thousand yards receiving. But it's all gonna come down to Alex Smith. Is Alex Smith gonna be that, you know, great quarterback? He has to have great protection for once. Now they got the other they got the other guy signed in the tackle, I believe. I think his name is Eric Wilson or Eric or I, I can't remember his name. But um, you know, Kansas City Chief, they're looking to make a splash, they're looking to do some good things this season. Um, we just have to see what happens. Um Andy Reid, you know, he's been twelve and twenty over his final two seasons, especially when he's with the Philadelphia Eagles. So we just have to see, but this team still have plenty of holes. You know, they're not no perfect team. Um. Now you know. Uh, let's 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 talk about the the, the Raiders. The, the Raiders. You know the Raiders. You know everybody used to love the Raiders, especially for their colors, their attitude, the fans used to bring. But as of right now, the Raiders, <laughs> they've been terrible. They've been terrible for years now. They've been terrible. I think the last time the Raiders was actually good was when they when they played the Patriots and they blew that chance to go. Well, they got cheated out of going to the Super Bowl. Um. But they're, they're right now they have a, a quarterback battle, Matt Flynn versus Tyler Wilson. Tyler Wilson from Arkansas. Um, a year ago, Seattle, uh, Flynn lost the training camp battle to Russell Wilson. Matt Flynn may lose out a fourth-round pick, Tyler Wilson. Something tells me that Wilson is not, you know, Matt Flynn's favorite name. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the Raiders, man. I don't know what's going to happen with the Raiders. You don't know what the defense is going to bring. You don't know what the offense is going to bring. Yes, they have Charles Woodson, but, like, I don't think he's going to make that much of a factor to, to put them over the hump. It's going to come down to quarterback play, and they're going to have a run game and a group of receivers who can catch the ball and just contribute. And defense, they're going to have to have a great, great defense. Now, over the years, though, the Raiders, they, they, they kind of had a good defense, but the offense just couldn't get things done at all. So I don't expect too much from the um, – from the Raiders at all. Now, I do expect a lot from this guy, Phillip Rivers, San Diego Chargers, QB. Over the last 32 games, 
Um, Rivers has thrown 35 interceptions. He's better than that. We know he's better than that. He's a gifted quarterback. He's a skilled quarterback. He just has to cut down on his turnovers. He reminds me of Brett Favre. I mean, the guy's accurate. He can throw the ball deep. You know, he has the passion. He has the the fight, the will, but he just has to cut down on turnovers. You know, under new coach Mike McCoy, we'll see what happens with, with Phillip Rivers. I would love to see him be that elite league quarterback because there's been plenty of years where the Chargers are supposed to have been to the Super Bowl and won the Super Bowl. You know, they had they used to have the offense. They used to have a dominant defense at one point, and I don't know how great of the the defense is going to be even with Matt Hattel or rookie middle linebacker, but they still have some pieces on that defense that can contribute and and make them a great defense. Um, but like I said, it's going to come down to quarterback play and run game. Now, who also I think is going to bounce back is Darren McFadden, Raiders running back. Well, uh, yeah, Raiders running back. Matter of fact, that's I think he's going to have to stay healthy. Hopefully, if he can stay healthy, he's going to help the Raiders out a lot. Um, McFadden, you know, he's still a thousand yard rusher. Um, if he can stay healthy, like I said, he's very big. Um, but his last final year, of his, he's in the last final year of his contract, and maybe that's going to add more motivation for him to produce. So, um, and as far as rookies out of this division, Manti Teo, of course, enough said. Uh, we're going to see how he's going to do against NFL competition. He will be a starting middle linebacker, and we just have to see what happens from there. So there you guys have it, man. Um, I have. The Broncos, of course, finishing first. I have the Chargers finishing second, the Chiefs third, and the Raiders last. I just feel like the with, with Peyton Manning and, you know, just his skill set and the defense and the offense, they're going to come out of this division and possibly go to the Super Bowl. So it wasn't really too much to talk about this division, but, you know, we just have to see what happens. You guys hit me up on Twitter, hit me up on Facebook, tell me what you think. Comment, subscribe, like, favorite, share. Deuces. And remember, guys and girls, make sure you click the subscribe button, watch the previous videos, and like the videos.